hello guys in this video i am going to show you how to install postgresql 15 that is the latest version on fedora 37 let's connect to fedora see this is the fedora desktop let's verify whether it's fedora or not by opening terminal then search for more slash etc os hyphen release see we are on fedora linux and its version is 37 okay press q to quit from this console okay now open firefox go to postgresql official website that is postgresql dot org then click on this download button click on linux then we have to select the distribution so i am going to install on fedora but here it's not showing red hat rocky or centos or fedora comes under this fedora family click on this red hat or red hat linux and centos once we click on see the red hat family of distributions includes red hat enterprise linux rocky linux centos fedora and Oracle Linux and others. The PostgreSQL equal M repository currently supports on these Linux distributions. Here the latest version is 15 and the old supported version is 11. Select the version then select the platform. See here we have different platforms. Select Fedora 37. See this is the script we have to run to set up the PostgreSQL server on fedora open terminal again first we have to copy this command what it will do it will install the pgdg repository just copy it and paste here press enter it is success now next command is we have to install postgresql see it is going to install 15 if you want to install 14 see it is going to install process equal 15 if we want to install 14 just to replace 5 with 4 13 3 12 2 okay like this but i am going to install with the latest version that is 15 press enter We have successfully installed PostgreSQL 15. Next, we have to initialize the database by running the, this command. Clear screen and press enter. It's done. Next, we have to enable the PostgreSQL service. sudo system ctl enable PostgreSQL 15 we have to give hyphen in between postgresql and version number we have successfully enabled now let's verify whether postgresql service is started or not sudo systemctl status postgresql hyphen 15 c it is inactive and dead press q to quit from this one clear screen by pressing ctrl l now Start the PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl start PostgreSQL hyphen 15. Or you can give service also. Both are same. We have successfully started. Let's verify. See, it is started. It is running since 6 seconds ago. Also notice here. 47894790 these are all postgres postgres processes 
for different backend process of the Postgres. Logger, check pointer, background writer, wall writer, auto vacuum launcher, logical replication launcher. Now connect to Postgres SQL Server. Press Ctrl L from your keyboard. sudo su hyphen postgres psql. See, we have successfully connected to Postgres. Okay, let's verify list of the databases. Slash l. If any command starts with backslash, means we can call them as meta commands. See, we have three databases: Postgres template zero and template one. These three comes with the installation of Postgres Prescute Fit. Also notice here, Postgres is the owner for all three databases. Clear screen. Create a database. Create database. Add to schools. Again, verify the list of the databases. Let's verify. See, new database added successfully. Press Q to quit. The next step is we have to set the we have to set the password for Postgres. Alter user username is Postgres. This is the super user with password. You the whatever the password you like. See, we have successfully set the password for Postgres user. Let's see the list of the users. See, I have only one user. Maximize this terminal. Clear the screen. Control L. Run the same du slash du. See, I have only one role. That is Postgres, which is having super user create role, create DB, replication, and other. Okay. Now create a user. Create user James with password admin at one two three colon. See, I have now verify again. Now we have two users. Now if we want to grant super user for this James, just alter user James super user. Now verify again. Slash du. See, we have granted so per user privilege. If we want to verify the data directory, show data underscore directory. In this directory, all the data files will be stored. Now go to this data directory. Before going, also check the log directory. I will keep these commands in the video description. This is the log directory name. Slash Q to quit. And one more I want to show you. See, at present I am in Postgres user. At present I am in Postgres database. If I want to switch to R2 schools, just give slash C R slash connect. Then database name. Now we are in R2 schools. Quit. Then cd paste this data direct. cd copy this path and paste here. ls see we have these many files. postgresql.conf and pg underscore hba are the most important files we have to keep backup of these files always. pg underscore hba.conf file contains authentication rules and this PostgreSQL.com contains PostgreSQL server settings. All data files will be stored in base direct. And this is the log directory. Now go to base directory. See, these are the OID of these four, these four databases. Now go to log and see what it, what it contains. CD log ls ls and see just now we have installed so there is only one log file let's verify the contents of this file more postgres see it contains only this information this is start time okay and it also recorded two errors so in this video we have seen how to down how to install postgres equal 15 on fedora 37 then we have seen how to start and how to connect then we have seen how to change password for the postgres user then we have seen how to create a database and user 
in PostgreSQL server. Then we have seen the configuration files location as well as data directory and log directory locations. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.